Tan Moro Death March is 26.2 miles walking in the New Mexico desert. I've always wanted to do the Bataan Death March when I was in the military, but I was always deployed. And I said, that is a great challenge for me. That's something that's going to test me. Previous few years from uh, last year, I was always having some medical issues with my legs, uh, always being stiff or tight. There was one day in my life before I had a taxia. I said to myself, you know, I've come to a good place. I've been very blessed with a great family, um, have a great job, I have a good education. You know, I want to do something more in my life. And as luck would have it, I got a taxia. I can't really go read home on the hell of uh, I've always said fitness is a cornerstone of life. If one of those corners falls, like fitness, then the whole house will fall. Um, so always want to strive more now that I'm where I'm in the capacity to do that because I don't know what five years down the road is going to bring me. Um, it's going to motivate me to get in probably the best shape I've been in my entire life. So this is like the next level above the, the walks I did every year. I own my disease and since I own it I want to find a way to beat it and this is just one way of involvement and making positively active. And I said, you know, I'm going for it this year. Um, but I, I still wanted to do more, so I wanted to raise some, some money for that. And I'm very honored to walk with him in his military presence. And I, I believe that it's a great match walking in the death march to honor the people that actually did the march before us in the Philippines. Ed, how you feeling? I feel great. Here at the base, I train for this. I think I'm ready. No, you know what? I know I'm ready. I'm going to do this. Even if I got to crawl or jump Mike's back, I'm going to do this. All right, Mike, how you feeling? Hey, good morning, John. Good morning, a Taxi World. Everyone at the conference. Uh, it's about 6.15 in the morning. And uh, this place is packed with thousands of people. Last year was over 7,000. I think they're expecting more this year. Um, it's about 38, 39 degrees outside right now. It's a little chilly. But once you get walking up to about five minutes, pretty good, pretty warmed up. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be a long day, but looking forward Ed, to it. Are you marching today? I am marching for the awareness of ataxia, I am doing this because it's a challenge to me and I want to be an example of what people can do when they set their mind to it. We spread the word out through social media, uh, all of our internet um, email contacts and uh, hey we're doing pretty good. We're doing really good as a matter of fact. Uh, last count was uh, I think 27,000 so uh, hopefully Hopefully by the end of this March, and hopefully by the end of the conference, we'll surpass 30K. So that's the hope. More money for more research, and you know, research will get us get us secure. So that's what the hope is. So we're getting ready to kick this thing off. All right, how you guys feeling? Uh, feeling great. Feeling a little tired, but still feeling great. So I'm really looking forward to this, and I want to say thank you to Joel for coming to this idea and communicating with Mike. Mike actually originate, originated this idea, spoke to Joel about it, and Joel took it to another level. So I would not be here if it wasn't for Mike, if it wasn't for Joel, and it wasn't for the NDF. So thank you very much. Thank you, NDF. I just want to thank you for the opportunity uh, for partaking in this and I want to thank the NAF for making this a 
spectacular big deal. I feel I'm really part of something big. This is a lot bigger than I thought it would ever be. You know, I showed up at the Philadelphia conference and I kind of blindly said yes. And then after time, I, I realized how big this really was. And I said to myself, I did what? What am I involved with? Hey, it's from Mike. Uh, I just want to thank Nat for taking this small idea that we had and just blowing it up and uh, getting with all the sponsors that we have. And, uh, and so a big thank you to our sponsors for uh, your donations and your participation and uh, being there with that throughout this process. And Mike, thank you. Yes, brother. Thank you, you got man. it.